Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from uh, Infos and Oil and Gas uh, Training Series. In this video, we are discussing about uh, uh, Part 2, so Process Safety Management Part 2. In that uh, process knowledge and uh, documentation. Welcome to this video. Process knowledge and documentation. Information necessary for safe design, operation and maintenance of any facility should be written, reliable, current and easily accessible by people who need to use it. Process safety information is needed in the following areas. So each and every area this process safety information is required. It should be written, reliable, simple to read and understand. So number one, uh, process uh, documentation, uh, process uh, knowledge and documentation. One is uh, chemical and occupational health hazard. This is normally takes from the uh, takes the form of material safety data sheet (MSDS). You can see in the right side uh, MS, uh, MSDS uh, uh, data sheet. You can see. Uh, MSDS for every potentially hazardous material used, stored or produced at a site plus information on reactivity, chemical and physical properties for use by those involved in process development and design. That means it is a uh, various type of uh, chemicals using in industry or uh, producing in industry or whatever it is. So it has to mention that one uh, required uh, uh, what are the health hazard, fire hazard or reactivity or uh, what are the uh, personal protective equipment can use. Uh, not only this much of information from where it is manufacturing, what it is manufacturing, what is the expiry date, what is the emergency contact number, uh, what are the precautions we can take. So many information uh, required in MSDS, especially in uh, specialty chemical industry, MSDS is a uh, mandatory required uh, document. So this is the uh, number one document in uh, process knowledge and uh, documentation. Uh, so chemical and occupational health hazard. Number two, process definition and design criteria. This is also a documentation or knowledge and information required. This is the information needed to operate a facility within its design range and to enable potential changes to be properly view, reviewed for their impact on the facility's safety and reliability. Minimum information required, you can see here a drawing. So it is a, a process flow diagram. This is you can see a simple uh, process flow diagram. So the uh, PFD is uh, uh, giving the information of uh, providing the information of uh, uh, from where the uh, uh, st uh, drawing starting or uh, process is starting and what are the different various uh, equipment and other details of the process then uh, finally the uh, product or sub by product or whatever it is producing so these details we can get it uh, from a PFT so then uh, safe upper and lower limits of level temperature pressure and flow time cycle and composition some PFD may provide that one, some PFD may not, but uh, another drawing p and can provide these details. So uh, various uh, safeguarding uh, conditions like uh, process variable, level, temperature, pressure and flow mainly. Uh, some other uh, composition as well will give the details of safeguard and uh, operating parameter details. Evaluation of the effect including uh, those on health, safety and environment of operating outside of this safe limit. So all HSE information if the process is uh, deviating from the normal uh, operating condition to abnormal condition. So that also can provide. Process chemistry including process stability and chemistry of uh, side reaction by product and contaminants and potential reactivity hazard so this information also can well written and provide in detail and simplified way uh, maximum intended inventory also material and energy balance definitely that is uh, very important 
third one is uh, process and equipment design this cover the data needed to ensure and maintain the mechanical and the process integrity of the equipment at a facility minimum information requirements are piping and instrumentation diagram p and id p and id you can see from uh, in the right side i provided a sample here you can see here in the p and id what is the difference between pfd means it will show the uh, most of the instruments like see level transmitter level controller level control valve then ltlc then uh, pressure transmitter pressure controller pressure control valve some alarms also they will uh, provide here like level switch low low level switch high high pressure switch low low pressure switch high high uh, some internals of the separator they are showing and pipeline dimension pipeline details they will show and uh, various instrument uh, signal and the electronic signal so more and more details are providing uh, kindly i request you to read my one module is uh, this one uh, p and id is there p and id module please read that module so you can get it that information uh, very well uh, materials of construction so it is uh, uh, that also we have to provide that materials of construction then uh, process control system including software integrity ventilation system design relief system design and uh, design basis uh, design codes and uh, standards uh, uh, employed electrical classification drawings uh, plot plan uh, so these are the information providing in uh, uh, process equipment and design so p and id will give uh, most of the details uh, then materials of construction uh, like engineering drawing and other thing then control si control system drawing including software integrity ventilation system design etc so relief valve and other details design design codes for the walls and pipe other area involved involved electrical uh, uh, classification electrical drawing separately so uh, detailed uh, drawings and uh, explanation or documentation will provide for a uh, process and equipment design uh, protective system another one these are the data on system which uh, either prevent or mitigate incident examples include critical alarms as i said you level alarm pressure alarm flow alarm temperature alarm uh, any other alarm is required or not critical interlocks uh, we can give uh, pressure relief and venting system fire detection and protection or uh, protection equipment emergency isolation valves effluent treatment system scrubber and the conch tank etc uh, so this information provided in protective system area then the five normal and upset condition operating procedure they will provide operating procedures are uh, operating procedures uh, should be readily accessible to those who work with or maintain the process there should be a system for updating procedures to ensure they reflect current operating practice including changes of process chemistry technology equipment facilities or organization and regular class certification that procedures are current and accurate the so process procedures should address st uh, stepped or each operating phase mainly it is operating manual operating training manual standard operating procedure how to operate the plant how to start up the plant what are the uh, safety features included what are the precaution we have to take what is the step involved in uh, starting a process or shut down a process etc etc including in this one step for each operating phase including <coughs> initial startup of a new facility normal and a temporary operation emergency shutdown including identification condition which require shutdown normal shutdown startup uh, flowing and emergency or normal shutdown <clears throat> then uh, planned operating limits uh, various uh, safeguards and other conditions consequences of deviating from established operating limit 
steps required to correct or avoid a deviation from operating limit safety systems and their functions uh, risk management decision should be uh, documented showing the decision made on the and the basis of uh, basis on which they were made uh, this is a sensitive area because of implication for liability and due uh, diligence uh, and should be carefully coordinated with the company's legal department risk assessment so process risk decision process risk management decision uh, coming under this category risk management decision should be documented showing the decision made and the base on which they they were made seven company memory management of information knowledge and information gained from plant experience which is likely to be important for future safety of the facility should be documented in a system so that it is not overlooked or forgotten as personal or organization change so this is a company uh, memory <clears throat> thanks for watching this video this is a small video uh, we have uh, we have to complete we have to uh, prepare some more uh, important modules uh, from uh, process safety management uh, definitely hopefully we can do one by one in uh, coming uh, sessions thanks for watching this video good day